Hi, this is Chris Georges with TrafficLabs.com. Over the next few months, I'll be producing a series of videos to share how I use True Traffic 9.0. Uh, I plan on this being a great learning experience for me, and hopefully you can gain something from it as well. Another goal is to keep the videos in short 10-15 minute long segments, uh, so you can easily go to a particular topic to review. First, an intro, an intro from the help menu in True Traffic. True Traffic is a worksheet for drafting arterial timing diagrams like time space, platoon progression, or time location, and with a GPS receiver for conducting travel time and delay studies. Although True Traffic offers some automatic optimization options, it was developed with the idea that some decisions in signal timing are based on factors that cannot be quant quantified easily or accurately, accurately for a computer, things like driver's perception, citizen complaints, queue length, or local policies and therefore must be made by a human. Open up True Traffic 9.0 and let's check or update license information. When the program first opens, a box showing version number and license information splashes on the screen for a few seconds. Uh, the way you can get back to the screen again and edit it is by clicking on the Help tab and passing down to About. The screen will show you exactly what license number you are using and what version of the software your workstation is running. If you need to change or update license information to get out of demonstration mode, click on the license button. Uh, I recommend a copy paste to get the information in exactly. Additionally, True Traffic will alert you uh, when you first start up if there's a newer version to download. And I recommend keeping the software as up to date as possible as Greg, uh, Greg Bullock, the developer, is constantly improving the software and keeping it as clean as possible. I'm running 9.0.18.0. Uh, the lessons are going to be based on the downtown network of lights here in Norfolk, Virginia, where I currently live. Uh, the network approx has approximately 30 plus lights uh, with lots of special intersections and special arterials. Uh, getting started, click on the file at the top and then click New. Uh, the first question is to provide the number of intersections along the artery you will be drawing. This number can be changed later on in the process, so don't worry if you don't have the right value right now. Uh, we will start with an arterial with five intersections. Next question, next question it asks you is to pick a forward direction. This is a preference to you, the user, to help visualize the arterial. If you're using the software, I'm assuming you are familiar with time-space diagrams and how distance is on the horizontal axis. Now when you read the time-space diagram from left to right, uh, do you expect the right to be northbound, southbound, eastbound, or westbound? My mind usually pictures north or east to the right of the page. Our first defined arterial will be an east-west corridor, so I have east going to the right. At this point, two more screens will pop open uh, that we can start to populate with information. Uh, arterial outline and arterial diagram window number one. I'll be using arterial outline window to label my street names. Our arterial is West Rambleton Avenue, and it has five intersections. Uh, Duke Street, Bush Street, Granby Street, Monticello Avenue, and St. Paul's Boulevard. I notice how I, as I populate these uh, these fields here in this window, that the window behind it. Um, has been updating with the names of those intersections. And here's our forward direction eastbound. Uh, Duke Street is the westernmost intersection, while St. Paul's Boulevard is the easternmost. Now we have loosely defined one arterial with five intersections, which is a pretty simple system, but there is one level higher that we still need to define before we start drilling down. Uh, this level is the network level, which is the last piece of the three levels. True Traffic defines the three levels by these three icons. First we have the network level, which is depicted by this crosshatch icon. Uh, in the example we are building, this would be equivalent to the 30 plus intersections of downtown Norfolk network. Uh, the next level is this arterial icon, which is equivalent to the one street 
uh, to one street in the network. This is like our, our West Barrington Avenue uh, with its five intersections that we just got done uh, defining. The last level is the individual intersection icon, and this is equivalent to an intersection like, like Granby Street on Brambleton Avenue. Again, it's network, arterial, and intersection. Uh, in the next lessons, we'll go over the basics in these three levels, and later lessons, we'll really drill down into these topics. Again, this is Chris Georges with TrafficLabs.com, and thanks for watching.